ごめんね写,写真だけ What? I'm a tourist No, no, no No picture No picture no. Why? What's wrong? No picture So Shibuya, what's wrong? 写真撮っちゃダメだから Victor, give me a break, man. Doing a video response to a video called Tokyo is Becoming a Police State for Foreigners. And it was published on March 3rd, 2014. It's got 4,683 views, 15 th thumbs up, and 17 thumbs Oh, just a minute. 18 thumbs down. Uh, I don't like this video, and I'm doing a video response. It's not a big video. I often do video uh, responses to. Uh, viral videos to explain what is happening to give you some background on the on the video itself This video is two foreigners going home in the Shibuya area of Tokyo They're walking home apparently according to their statements in the description and in the comment section And they're both Westerners and they say they see some police officers and they're like hi guys The police officers decide to ask them for their Gaijin card their Zaidu card and at this point they become Offended or at least the guy filming becomes offended and says ah you shouldn't ask me for my card So I'm gonna film you and one of the problems I have with this video is that it's dishonest from the beginning. It's only a minute and uh, 30 seconds long. And he says in the very beginning, Hey, what's the problem? We're just tourists. I'm a tourist. Oh, what? I'm a tourist. No, no, no. I'm a tourist. I'm a tourist. And then later he says, Hey, I'm going home and you're bothering. You're getting me away. I live here. I'm going home and you guys are bothering me. I'm going home. My home. Akasaka. I'm a tourist. I'm going home and you guys are bothering me. I'm a tourist. Which is it? And the other thing is, the, the conception about the Gaijin card and racial profile and all that crap, all that stuff is different in Japan. I have good friends that have covered in tattoos and have holes in their faces and they're the nicest people in the world. If you're a police officer though, you don't have that kind of time to get to know people. You've got to make quick decisions and often the only thing you go on is the way people dress and the way people look. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, because foreigners are a tiny, tiny minority in Japan, I can I can understand. But now it's I still and I know that the majority of foreigners are actually not criminals, and the the crime rate for in the foreign in the foreign expat world is actually lower than in the Japanese world. But at the same time. I don't think the police know that, and a lot of this is based on ignorance. Which I can forgive for now because Japan is still a growing country and they're not used to uh, the immigration that we have in the States and, and Europe and things like that. So yeah, it's wrong, but it's getting better. Now here's the other thing. I've never been stopped. I've never been asked for my foreign, my Gaijin card ever. And I've been here 23 years, maybe 24 years this year. I don't know, long time. Anyway, never been asked. I live in Nagoya. It's a pretty big city. It's like, I don't know, Cleveland, Ohio, if you're from the States. It's got three million people in the general area. If you're in Tokyo, however, it apparently happens quite a bit. And I've heard tons of stories from tons of friends, so I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm just saying it's never happened to me, so maybe that's why I'm not very sympathetic to this. I don't think it's a big deal. But regardless of what I think, the law is the law, and the law is that if a police officer asks you for your Gaijin card, debatably, he must have a reason. Like, you look like you've committed a crime, you're about to commit a crime, or it's in a very heavy crime area. Uh, that's debatable, but the police officer has the right to ask you for your guiding card, and you are required by law to show him your card. Now, if you don't have your card with you, technically you could face up to uh, 200,000 yen in penalties, or if you have your card but you refuse to show your card because of some whatever misguided idea of injustice, you could also be forced to pay 200,000 yen. That's that's the fine, 200,000 yen, which is about $2,000 US. Now, if you are, if you're a Japanese citizen, Japanese national, I should say, then you do not have to show your card. You don't have to show any kind of ID. And if there is there's one case I know of, of a foreigner, Edo, who was on the show last night, uh, Edo is a good friend of the show, two and a half he, uh, he on his site, he talks about how he was once asked, well, he's been asked three times in his, and he's been here a little bit longer than I have. He's been asked three times, and the last time he said, I am a Japanese national, and, they, and he stated his name, which is Japanese, and they said, oh, sorry, and they left him alone. Now, theoretically, you could do that. You could say, hey, I'm a Japanese and my name is Suzuki, so leave me alone. However, if the Japanese decide to pursue that, the Japanese police, if the Keisatsu, if the Keisatsu Kan decide to pursue that, and, and you say that you're a Japanese national, when they find out that you're not actually a Japanese national, and they will find out, you could face up to a million yen in fines, which is $10,000 US, one year in prison, and in the end, you could be deported. However, if you just show your card, and even if you don't have your card and you refuse to show it, it's only 200,000 yen. So lying about your nationality is the worst thing you could do. But you know, if you're a gambler, whatever, you do whatever you want. Anyway, this video, in the video, they seem to have this idea that the police officer has to have a reason and they have some links to a Debito site. I'm not a big fan of Debito because I feel like his whole take on Japan is just completely negative. But anyway, he says that according to 
Like he says, according to the law, they have to have a, a warrant, or you can ask them for a warrant. They have to have a probable cause or something. So if you want, if you want to be a hard ass and go that way, you could say, "Reijo ga arimasu ka?" Do you have a warrant? Reijo ga arimasu ka? Reijo ga naito dekimasen. If you don't have a warrant, sorry, I can't help you. I don't, I'm not going to show you the card. I would not go that way personally. There also have been cases of low-level gangsters preying on on foreigners, especially women by pretending to be keisatsukan or police officers and they'll ask you for your ID. In cases like that, you can ask them for their uh, identification first. The way you do that is keisatsu techo wo misete kudasai. And they're required by law to show you their badge or their police notebook that proves their, their ID, you know, their police ID. Now, if they don't have that, uh, you can go, you can just say, okay, let's go to a koban. Let's go to a little police box. They, they're all over Japan, especially in the bigger cities. And usually if they're, of course, if they are an imposter, this is the point where they will say, eh, never mind, and probably hightail it out of there. So th those are a couple of your options. Anyway, I'm just making this video to clear that up because a lot of people have seemed to be confused about whether or not you have to show your ID. From the research I've done, you do. You have to show your ID unless you don't mind paying a huge fine. Oh, by the way, this practice of asking foreigners for their ID is called, and this is a new word for me, I've never heard it, Shokumu shitsumon. Shokumu shitsumon. And if someone stops you, you could ask them, Shokumu shitsumon desu ka? Is this, are you doing, this is a, this is where the cops stop you for acting suspicious. It's a stop and search, basically. You can ask them that, and if they say that, then you can ask them, Ja, keisatsu techo wo misete kudasai. Please show me your, your badge. If you don't want to show it, you can say, Reijo ga arimasu ka? So a couple of uh, interesting phrases you can learn. Thanks for watching, guys. Check the description to links to the video, the Japan Times article, and to turning-japanese.info, the Edo site, which is, I think, the best place to go if you have questions uh, about Japan. This guy does his research and has links to very reputable sources. He backs up everything he writes on, on this blog. So check that out. Thanks for watching, and, if you, and, I'm, and yeah, let me know what you think about this. I mean, do you think it's really wrong for the Japanese police to ask you uh, for your ID and is that racial profiling and is racial profiling really that bad in a country like this? Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you guys soon.